speaker. So Vince Shirelli first learned of his prostate cancer eight years ago. As a part of his journey, he wanted to see what he could do for the many guys that, he ha that had his same disease. As an experienced paddler, he decided to see if he and the PCFBC slash PCSC could create a dragon boat team made up of just prostate cancer patients. The result was the Butts in a Boat. The Butts team is the first prostate cancer team in the world, and it began where dragon boating for cancer patients began, right here in Falls Creek, Vancouver. The Butts team was formed six years ago for a one-off challenge against the original Abreast in a Boat team, which is a breast cancer team. It has now become tradition for the Butts and the Abreast teams to compete against each other in June. The members stayed together and practiced and paddled every year in multiple regattas, winning their fair share of bling while supporting each other and their partners. The guys stayed together through COVID, exercising and supporting each other through Zoom. They had exercise groups, bike groups, walking groups, etc., and an umbrella organization called Butts in Motion was later created. It works and there are 40 to 50 guys associated with the Butts in various factions. Vince will be speaking about these groups and how one might create a similar structure in their community. So without further ado, I will hand the floor over to Vince. You're muted, Vince. <laughs> and I'm now unmuted, I think. <laughs> I mute myself, I've done that. Thanks again for the, uh, for the introduction. And uh, I noticed that on this call, there's a whole bunch of uh, guys that are uh, parts of the butts and boat and butts in motion. So um, I will uh, uh, represent them in this uh, little presentation. So Rochelle, you're gonna run the slides for me and that's great. So this, uh, this is just a, a presentation that talks about um, the butts in motion, uh, a little bit of our history, how we started uh, some of the activities we're on and how we will um, certainly encourage people to uh, join us or create their own uh, Butts in Motion program. And uh, you'll see lots of pictures. Every one of these uh, guys that you see, uh, I guess I would say not everyone, but 95% uh, all have prostate cancer in some form or other and are uh, living uh, you know, proof of how important exercise is to, uh, to our our survival. Uh, next slide, please. So these are uh, a little bit of our messages about, uh, you know, our mission. Uh, we're all moving through prostate cancer together. Um, and through this, we share um, uh, our opportunity to share experiences that we have uh, and uh, have a chance uh, to, to basically listen to other uh, folks' journeys and see how we can help them. At the beginning and of this, I wanna tell you that this is started as a support group and it remains a support group. Uh, it isn't just about exercise. Um, you'll learn through this presentation that uh, most of these people have been with the group a long time uh, and uh, we know a lot, a lot about each other and our families. So we get moving uh, with guys just like you uh, if you're looking at this presentation. Um, okay, so who, who, uh, who we are, we're a prostate cancer support group that feature, uh, focuses on camaraderie and fitness. Um, the patients uh, and their partners are welcome. So we have uh, many people who uh, uh, in our activities uh, have their partners join us in our exercise groups. So it isn't uh, restricted simply to prostate cancer survivor or, or patients. And you'll see that there's a wide variety of activities. That's a picture there on the left-hand side of our paddling group that I'm gonna talk about uh, uh, next. So next uh, slide. It all started with the butts in the boat. And um, I should say that uh, there's another gentleman, Richard Wassersage, excuse me, I gotta, I'm just gonna shut this phone off. My wife is uh, playing golf. <laughs> Those that know me know that we're a golfing family. But it started uh, early on, uh, as mentioned, uh, I was diagnosed with prostate cancer eight or nine years ago. And through that uh, was in the prostate cancer supportive care group, met Richard Wasasaj, who is also a butts in motion. And uh, through our discussion, he said, you're a paddler, aren't you? And I said, yeah, I'm a paddler. He said, what do you think about uh, paddling, uh, you know, against this breast in a boat team? And Anyways, a great idea that generated from that discussion turned into the butts in the boat. 
Um, we were formed uh, in 2016. In fact, we did race against uh, a, a breast in a boat, which uh, has its own history of uh, success with uh, breast cancer uh, patients. Uh, they found that the paddling was one of the best uh, uh, exercises that supported also the treatments of breast cancer uh, survivors. So um, that was the that was the beginning. That group actually uh, turned out to uh, after we had that initial race, uh, in which we won, by the way, uh, surprisingly or not too surprisingly, the guys were really good after four uh, uh, exercises or not exercise but uh, practices. We ended up having a great uh, a great session. Um, they said, let's, uh, let's stay together. And that's what had happened. We, uh, we formed the group, we started going to regattas and the group today continues to be strong. We're into our sixth year as dragon boaters. Um, so this is an example again of some of the, we, we paddle right in Falls Creek uh, at Science World. Uh, and uh, we have uh, had uh, some wonderful success and great camaraderie, uh, which includes uh, after every practice, every Tuesday from six to eight, uh, we tend to go to something we call the wall, uh, which uh, where we have enjoy beverages of various varieties. And uh, again, the support just continues in that in that environment. We don't have a picture of the wall on this, but I think I'm going to put one in for the next presentation. OK, move on, please. Um, this really supports uh, Kristen's uh, presentation about the importance of um, exercise. Uh, but if this one specifically talks, there's a few, a few comments here about uh, the dragon boating and how it supports it. And, you know, in dragon boating, you're like one of the cogs in a wheel. And when that wheel starts turning, all the cogs are going with it. Everybody isn't together. So without one of those cogs, the wheel doesn't go, doesn't, uh, not going to turn and the importance of uh, support and unison and, uh, and being in one member of the team. I've got other friends that have never had cancer, prostate cancer, they've had no idea what you're going through. Even your spouse um, doesn't know what, uh, what it's like uh, with me, but she doesn't know everything that's going on up here where the other guys do. And as prostate cancer survivors, this is one, this is our dragon boat. It's our chance and our time to get there and paddle. And uh, I can tell you one thing, we aren't uh, uh, the most, uh, the fastest, but we are one of the most competitive uh, dragon boat teams that are out there uh, racing. Okay, next slide, please. So what happened as a result of that is, um, I'm just, again, I'm just before you get through on that, uh, with COVID, um, dragon boating ended up uh, being put on hold because of the proximity. The guys wanted to continue to uh, get together and through initiatives that were driven by uh, primarily one of our guy, paddlers, the Gervais Fox, we started exercising. Uh, we started exercising and finding venues um, so we could stay together. Uh, this was as a result of uh, uh, people wanting to still stay fit and move. And also there was an exercise program that Kirsten mentioned that we were all part of uh, at the rec center. And that also, uh, so many of those exercising uh, uh, folks also were paddlers. Uh, we ultimately moved indoors uh, and uh, we created a, a weekly uh, exercise program every, uh, every Tuesday. Uh, and then we found out that everybody wanted to do it more than once a week. So we did it Tuesdays and Thursdays. And recently we've moved it to Mondays and Thursdays so we can accommodate our dragon boating, which is on Tuesdays. So we exercise Mondays and Thursdays over Zoom um, from 4.30 to 6 o'clock, from 4.30 to 5.30 is our, our actual uh, exercise time. And uh, from uh, 5.30 to 6 o'clock, we continue with the support uh, of the, each of the guys, and we talk about all kinds of varied things. The difference here, I think, is that um, the people who are on this program, and we invite many, we've had several new ones, um, uh, tend to all get to know each other and get to 
we we are very open in terms of understanding more about the people that are coming to these programs. Um, how are they run? They're run by us. Uh, we basically we don't actually have uh, a registered physical therapist or uh, an exercise therapist. We have had some uh, guidance from those people and they've given us a set of exercises that we know are uh, proper for people of our um, uh, situation, but we run it ourselves. Uh, we, uh, each, of the, each of the guys take turns um, uh, being active in terms of setting a set of exercises we do a proper warm up. We do three series of uh, eight exercises, one minute each. We do a, a little bit of a break in between, and then we do a full on cool down. Um, so uh, we aren't doing things that we know that no one knows is right because we've had the proper guidance, but we do it ourselves. Uh, there's no charge. Uh, in fact, we we the more the merrier. On average, we have somewhere between twenty to thirty people on our exercise calls. And uh, this year on the butts and the boat, just as I forgot to mention, we're up uh, over 20 people uh, and we're growing uh, that number quite extensively also. So we have other activities. I've now talked about the, the paddling, I've talked about exercises, but we have butts on, on bikes, uh, which spun off again of this group. There were some bikers. And so every Thursday, uh, you know, a half a dozen or so guys would meet uh, down in downtown Vancouver, and they'd go for bike rides and ultimately end up at some place where they would uh, cool down with a coffee or a beverage um, and uh, get the exercise and enjoy the, that. We now have a butts and yoga program that uh, runs today, every Tuesday from three till four uh, with a, this is the one that is being led by a professional uh, or a certified uh, yoga instructor. Uh, and it, uh, it's very active and uh, we also have the blue walkers which is a walking group um, we have uh, we met the fitness group uh, and we have some other things that we do too for example the socials um, the guys have uh, become very active uh, as participants and friends and so socials involve uh, clearly getting together for a beverage after paddling um, uh, it, uh, we've gotten together for, for dinners where some of the butts, uh, members have hosted, uh, a bunch of the, the butts men, their spouses or partners. Uh, and an example of that is this Saturday, uh, coming up, uh, one of our, our, uh, exercise slash paddlers is a very accomplished artist, uh, in ceramics and pottery. He has a, um, uh, showing in Burnaby of uh of some of his works and a whole bunch of us are going to be going out to support that and it'll turn i'm sure into another yak session support session and uh and a fun opportunity to get together next chart please so what's the rationale uh physical social and mental health benefits all come from what we do as butts in motion um, we, you know, again, I'm very interested in, in Kristen's uh, message because it's not much different in terms of its basic concepts. Um, there's the social aspect of being able to communicate with each other with people who have the same, uh, same journey that they're on. There's the physical benefits and people work at their own pace. There's no, there's no high level. Uh, it's basically at your own pace. Um, and, and you feel good about yourself, uh, obviously. The sustainability of the group is crucial. And in this case, because this group is really, uh, has had a, a bottoms up grassroots kind of from the early days of the butts, um, there are still uh, 50 or more percent of the people who are in the program, probably even higher than that, 70 or 80, I'd have to look. Uh, we're on that original butts team that raced against the ladies and we've stuck together uh, and uh, we've been able to benefit uh, from that proximity. Uh, and you can see uh, there's uh, Bruce and his uh, lovely wife who joins us every time uh, for every uh, exercise program as one of the girls. And by the way, there's the wall. I just see it. And that's where we go afterwards. 
for a beverage after paddling. Go ahead, next. So if you go to our site, we have uh, two websites that the key one is buttsinmotion.ca. Uh, it has a, uh, a, a series of, uh, of pages that show you the programs that we're on and it also has a calendar. So it's got upcoming events that are coming. So if you go to any of those uh, boxes and you see an exercise and click on that box, you can register for that. And an email goes to an individual member of the butts. In the case of exercise, it goes to Gervais, who ensures that that person number one knows what uh, when to come, and he includes them in his comical emails that he sends out twice a week. Uh, and we take uh, an extra length of time to ensure that anybody that comes in that's new uh, gets a really warm welcome uh, to the group. There, so there's a, a great uh, sense of inclusion. Um, and you can, uh, if you if you click on dragon voting, an email comes to me, and you'll be quickly included in uh, the practices coming up. Okay, next. So, one of the things about this uh, butts in motion, which was uh, really, I have to go back and and give props seriously to the Prostate Cancer Foundation team, Leah, uh, Rochelle, uh, Shelley, Nicole all of who have really supported uh, our initiative um, from the beginning with the butts in the boat. And when we said, hey, we wanna expand this uh, into an umbrella, they were very supportive. And I think what makes it so unique and is that it is, uh, it's, it's a grassroots uh, internal run by the patients themselves and, and the, the, the prostate cancer patients. So, but it, because a lot of it is, um, uh, virtual, you can join ours. We've got some exercise guys that uh, join us yesterday. We had one from Montreal. We've got them from Toronto, Brampton, uh, Nanaimo. We had a guy from Calgary. So they they sign on and uh, most of them that sign on stay on. Uh, but if you want to start your own program, your own walking group, your own dragon boat team, um, that we'll help you start one. Um, there's a dragon boat team that we understand is starting in Moncton. I think the guys in Brampton are thinking of uh, getting one and hopefully we're going to try to create um, the same success that the breast, uh, a breast in a boat had by maybe having a number of uh, prostate cancer dragon boat teams and maybe our own regatta someday where we can compete against each other. I know Richard would like that. So, um, but you can, uh, you can start your own and we'll help you start your own. There's ways how to do it. So buttsinmotion.ca slash contact is, a, is the connection and the folks at, this, at the Prostate Foundation, Cancer Foundation, or we will help you in that regard. Next, please. Uh, Kristen had a few testimonies. Here's a few of ours. You know, I have never been associated with a group that offer support, fitness, camaraderie, inspiration, and fun, like the Butts in Motion. This group of now friends has become a very important to me and my wife uh, as we move through our journey with prostate cancer uh, together with them. And I highly recommend you give Butts a try. Um, here's another one. Participation is a bit of perspiration, having combined a great deal of inspiration in all of the Butts members it is not often that something this good comes with so little cost. Unfortunately, uh, those without prostate cancer cannot join the group. <laughs> and finally, since joining the Butts in Motion Prostate Cancer Group, my quality of life has definitely improved. It has given me the structure and motivation to improve my fitness levels, as well as evaluating my mental wellness due to being with men facing similar life challenges as myself. And if you look around at the pictures, there's a whole group of, of uh, familiar faces that look an awful lot like uh, uh, each other. Uh, the interesting thing is um, all of them are smiling. All of them are, uh, are encouraged in enjoying the, 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 uh, the comfort and the community of each other. Next one, please. So, um, this is, uh, this is how it is. It's free. It's an online or in person. No experience is necessary. We do ask you to do a, 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 
have a check with your doctor to make sure you're you're capable. But we, uh, you know, we don't run physical uh, educational programs. We expect the, our our guys to know their level of fitness, um, and we haven't had any issues in that case. But you can see there's lots of things to do, uh, improving your quality of life uh, with your prostate cancer and having great fun doing it. So we encourage you to go to our site. Uh, we encourage you, if you can, to, uh, to definitely um, join, join one, our group or, or call to see how you might join your own. I think, is that the last slide, Rochelle? It is. Okay. So I guess on this point, uh, and there's a bunch of uh, butts on the call here too. So uh, I'm, I'm ready to take some questions and uh, I'm sure I can get some help from one of my, from my fellow butts. So thank you very much for listening.